All right, let's do this. So I got some more parts. Uh, you know what I mean? What we're gonna do is we're gonna raise these handlebars like sky high and bring in this stem to like right there. It's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. All right, and I'm gonna make a video doing it because else I'm just never gonna do it. I I don't know. If I don't make a video of myself doing it, I, I don't know. I'm just never gonna do it. So anyway. Uh, let's get this going the right direction. So that's just gonna go right there, but we're gonna put a new stem on um, So uh, kind of what we want to do is we want to lower this. I think we want to look well, well Well, let's get it back in here Because um, when we when we take off the stem and stuff, well, let's just do it Like what, what are we doing? I mean the, just start loosening stuff You know, what I mean this has got to get loosened even though this is like not the order you kind of want to do things in but you know as long as you're thinking Holy crap, those bolts are just hell. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna see if they move. Yep, hell yeah. But yeah, you gotta get the you gotta get the wrench in there else it's, it's just gonna totally get buggered. And uh, you know what I mean? If you got a hammer, you know, hammer that puppy in there. Okay, sweet, sweetness. Alright, so that that loosened up. That loosened up. And uh let's see how uh yeah, it's moving. It's moving. Okay, and uh, we're, we're, we can even uh, we can even loosen this bad boy up. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, that just keeps it from. Uh, let's see. And there might be enough friction in there. You know what I mean? So so this is pretty loose. So so if if this just starts to slide off, well then we know we're uh, yep yeah, perfect. And this hasn't this hasn't chunked down. So there you go. So th this is kind of holding itself in by uh, by just uh, you know me friction or whatever. Okay, now I'm just gonna leave this mess here. It's it's just god awful. Every once in a while I might just do that. I don't know. But we got to get the bike stuff out, and uh, it goes just right up here, just on top of all the other garbage. All right, get our tools out because we need to come in here and get like the number. The number, what is it? The number three. And uh, yeah, we gotta loosen that puppa up. All right, do it right, you know, slide it in. I don't know if you can see a damn thing. Okay, there you go. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna get in there. Okay, so one loosened, one loosened. I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, there you go, put them over there. And life's hard, but just say it's hard, and then you'll kind of just slow down. You're like, oh, this is not going. You know what I mean? This is my life. Everything's just not going. Uh, okay, but we loosened it up. Hell yeah, hell yeah. And uh, hey, looks like, uh, okay, so that'll just slide right off. We're just going to leave that crap there, and we got to loosen this pup up. And uh, five. There you go. Okay, all right. So it's all loosened. I mean, the name of the game is like the guy's like, oh yeah, if you're gonna if you're gonna rise it raise it sky high, you're gonna have to replace all your cables. Well, I just installed a new shifter housing cable, you know, new brake cables, you know, both. So I was like, hell no, hell no. I I am definitely no way because this thing's coming in so far this way and going up that the cable should be the same length. And you know. Uh, sometimes those bike shop guys, you know, they, they want it to fail because they want their knowledge to be like, yep, 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 you know what I mean? But they're, but they're never like, they're never like, and that's the same thing with me with rivers. I was just like, you know, are you going to be just fine? Hell no, you're going to die, you know what I mean? So keep that in your mind, just every rapid. You're like, I'm, I'm going to lose my life. And then you might pay attention, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, no, you're, you're just fine. Someone else is going to die. You're going to be like, oh, oh, I see what you mean. Um... But yeah, yeah, you're gonna live. You're gonna live pretty much just because, uh, you know what I mean? It's like the idiots always live. And not that we're idiots, but you know what I mean? And, and I'm just talking about myself. I'm just talking to myself about myself. I'm not talking about you. I'm just kind of making some jokes here. Okay. Uh, don't insult the audience, David. Yeah, but, but I think I got some here. You know what I mean? If I talk to myself all day long, I might as well make a video so you can listen in. Okay. Perfect, and now we need to get the, we need to get this. And I guess the only thing we could do is just install it upside down, inside out. Um, but uh, there you go. So it's just uh, snubby nubbin. Um, snubby nubbins, that's what I'm gonna call this. I'm just, I just name everything. And this is snubby nubbins. 
and it's gonna be my best friend for life. All right, hopefully it doesn't just chunk down. Please, God, do not just fall to the fall to the ground. I'm playing with fire here because now this whole thing could just pop right out. So I'm just gonna go up with it, up with it. There you go. And it's all greasy as hell. It doesn't need to be greasy, but it's fine. I, I don't really care. It, it's just fine. It's just, it's like hardened. There you go. Perfect. Okay. That's like holding the tension. So get that, get that bad boy. Hey, there's no rust in there. This, this, this thing hardly does a damn thing. You know what I mean? So, uh, damn it. Damn it. If this pops out, you know what I mean? Shame on me, but I'm going to do it. Damn it. If that thing just pops to the ground, shame on me. It's fine though. But we're gonna we're gonna get a little grease. Throw that right there. Hey, let, let's use the let's use the grease on the. Wow, you know what I mean. Now this bolt is just good for years, just years upon years. Uh, it'll last forever. Like this whole bike will just rust except that bolt. Uh, what do we got? See, now I'm just losing my mind. Uh, I need that twirly thing. Yeah. Okay. Get the twirly thing. And now we're just like, okay, all this does is set the tension. Uh, well, no, this is, this is a very important bolt. <laughs> this does pretty much everything. And guess what? We need a spacer. God damn it. But we got that kind of stuff. We definitely do. Let's see. Here's back number one. No spacers, no spacers. Oh, but damn, I didn't know I had all this juice in here. That's where all my grease is. There you go. There's the grease. Man, there, there's a lot of good stuff in here. Okay. But uh, bike number two, spacers. Come on, baby. Nope. Damn it. I think all my spacers are in the garage. I do not want to go out there. Oh my God. Are you serious? And I just lost a shoe. But, uh, you know what I mean? Do you want to watch me go to the garage? Not really. Oh. Uh, I just don't think I have spacers anywhere else because they're all in my headset, because I got all my headset, because I was trying to make skateboards with headset barons, and uh, you know what I mean? Life threw me a curveball, and I haven't got back to that. Is there a spacer in there? Hell no. No, and there's no spacers. No, no, okay. So I, I don't know why you just look in places that don't have stuff. You might as well, well, okay, this, throw down a pad. Hey, this pad will be real nice. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna go right here. Is there any spacers in there? They'd be in there if they'd be anywhere, but they're not. And I just guarantee there is no spacers in here, but, but we can do it. We can, we can dump this crap out if we want to. I just guarantee there's gonna be no spacers in there. So now what we're gonna do is just go the other way with it. And if you see a spacer, let me know. Uh, kinda. You know what I mean? I see plastic, but that ain't no spacer. All right, all right, whatever. And, uh... Okay, good enough. Hey, looks like we're going to get a spacer. And we're gonna go to the garage, and uh, magically we'll be in the garage. All right, that was madness, but I, I got into my garage and th this was all the the skateboard stuff that I was making You know what I mean? Uh, you know, that's a wheel with a disc brake But I just kind of had to pull the plug on it, you know, uh, I was making headsets, you know out of aluminum blocks It's pretty cool. But anyway, he, here's all the headset stuff. So I got yeah, I got plenty You know, what I mean? one of those has got to work and if it don't man, I need I need probably need one that's thinner Hey, look at that. Hey, we got we got a thinner one Okay, uh, I might just grab a couple more parts. I found some pedals, but we're gonna go back. All right, that was a trip down memory lane. But now we can just get back to it. All right, so here we go. So we uh, we got our spacers, and we're just gonna kind of find the one that, that works. We got a ton. Hey, how, how about that one? Um, you know, that one just might barely work. Um, but I guess all, all the spacers do 
is just so you can adjust it. It's already well adjusted. Um, so that's interesting. Technically, I didn't even need a spacer because once you clamp this puppy on there, that, that shouldn't move at all. So, I mean, do you, you understand, folks, that even if you're just setting tension, you can just use a piece of PVC. You can just use, use whatever. You know what I mean? Use your, use your mind. Use the force to get it tight in there somehow. But anyway, I mean, the name of the game is to, hey, when you, when you, when you tighten this screw, you got a little pressure. Um, so, uh, but anyway, we'll, we'll get that pressure going. And not too much because it's already just, it's already perfect probably. So yeah, we're just going to snug it up and uh, just get it in place. And uh, yeah. And there's, is there any play? Well, well, obviously there might be play. Uh, but yeah, we'll just get it as best as we can. Just aligned nicely. And then that'd be perfect. Like at the end of the day, like when you get perfect, it'll probably be off just a little bit. But if you just wing it and just go for it, it'll probably be perfect. Okay. So we're just going to go until that one snugs up and then do this one. And this you do. You got to get into like a, you know, it's Sunday. Get religious with this. Just kind of go back and forth nice and easy. Um, you know, one and then the other. But you can go fast as hell, but just, just do it systematically. Just so it tightens, you know, all the molecules of steel or whatever that, you know, molly, uh, molly poly, you know what I mean? Uh, whatever the metal is. And uh, just to make sure it, it tightens up evenly. And I don't know, probably five or six, you know, Newton meters. And, and but basically when it bottoms out, well, hell yeah, well, don't go, don't go crushing it. But hell yeah, it's bottomed out, it's tight. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, you know, don't give up a fight. So, or, or whatever, whatever they say. What do they say these days? I don't know what they say. Okay, we're going to loosen these up. These these look like they just have plenty of grease on them. That one's just going to fall to the ground. And this, again, says 5 Newton meters. But these, these are tiny, tiny threads. Um, so we, gotta, we just got to make sure to go easy, uh, easy and often. Okay, here we go. Hell yeah, get those handlebars on. Now, you can mess this up by putting them on wrong. But hell yeah, that looks good. And, uh, just gotta get one. Just gotta get one. I bet you they're all gonna fall. One of them's gonna fall. What do you think? Or do you think because I said one of them's gonna fall, none of them are gonna fall? Man. I think we did pretty good. Damn, I think we caught them all. Okay. Now, don't go cranking these all the way. Because, you know, just to there, and, and then, you know... Just to there, because you do do you do the other corner. Now the other corner, you might be able to go quite a bit. See if that gap closes. All right, that gap's closing, and uh, now we can kind of spot it up. How much gap do we have on the bottom? Well, quite a like it's pretty tight on the bottom actually. And now I don't know where the middle of this is. Crap, I should have measured it. But you can kind of see the round bulbous spot right there. I can see the round bulbous spot right there. So we'll just... Yeah, perfect. Hey, that looks good. Looks like a BMX bike. And, uh... Okay. So we're going to get this going. We're going to take the bike out of the stand because we're basically... We're basically there. Basically square. But should we get this... Should we get this going? Shoot, what do we got here? I forget how these went. How the hell did this go? Uh, did it go that way? Did it go this way? Did it go that way? Nope, nope. Damn. Did it just go just like this? All right, so that breaks on that side? Well, hell yeah, I, I'm gonna have to lengthen these cables. Especially this one. I'm just gonna take this one out. A and that sucks. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, that does suck. But I'm just going to pull this one off, just nice and gently. And, uh, shoot, we got to get that off there. What are you, th what are you thinking? Man, I feel like I'm going to dig this into my skull. All right. Perfect. Okay, I see where it went. I see where it went. Okay, but yeah, yeah, that's got to, oh, perfect, that just comes, oh, we don't even need that one except we need a grip, but maybe we can find another grip. Okay, so that goes right up there, and yes, it is two, we definitely need to replace this one, that's all right. 
You know what I mean? Eh, and we probably need to replace these. All right, so same story. I'm gonna get that one off, put it right there. And, uh, oh shoot, we gotta get that off. Yeah, I feel like I'm just gonna gouge myself. Man, this does not feel safe at all. But you, you gotta go tactile, tactile force, nice and, nice and firm. Okay, here we go. So that's like that. And uh, booyah, so that's done. And yeah, hell yeah, dude, our cables are just hella stretched. That's why I was just like, yeah, you don't wanna go down the road and then just like kill yourself. You're gonna make one turn and then just, you know, just eat crap. But look at that, that's fine. Well, we'll just really get it in there, especially this brake. Uh, let's see, let's get it on there. I think we're good to go, <laughs> you know? And then I don't mind lengthening that one, that's fine. But I just don't want to replace all this cable. That's crazy, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, that would just be nuts. Okay, let's get this cap back on. Oh, we need new caps. All right, fair enough. Right into the trash. It did not go. Oh man, where's our squiggly thing? Where's our tourney bob? There it is. Hey, found some tools. There you go. Uh, I guess they're not tools, just like parts. Found some parts. All right, get that right to the end. And, uh, okay, get this one on first. Well, let's get this to the ground because, you know, especially with shifters, you gotta get the brakes where you want them. Uh, so yeah, get the brakes first. So yeah. You know, you're just coming straight off, straight armed. Um, you know what I mean? Just like that. That looks good. So let's get that tightened down first. Whoa, a lot going on there. I feel like it's just moving all over the place. Damn it. Okay, there we go. So, uh, yeah, that looks still good. I don't know why I thought it was going to be bad just because it moved a little bit. Who cares? Maybe it's moving into the perfect spot. Okay, that was snug. Get those so they don't fall off. All right, so that's on there. It's nice and snug. Okay, snug as a bug in a rug. And, uh, woo, breaking stuff. So I, I don't know if I have any other grips. I thought I would have seen them in here if I did. So I'm just gonna say no, there's one grip. But that that's like an awful, man, that is, that's a pretty awful grip. Unless it just goes on nice, nice and tight. I don't know, what do you, what do you think? Uh, I mean, does it go on perfect or does it move around? It moves around a hell of a lot. Yeah, let's get that off there. Damn, now it's not coming off. Okay, easy does it. Okay, what, what should we do? Should we get this back on there? Man. And then we got to get that other piece on there. And, uh, yeah, I guess that, that, that'll have to do. That will have to do. So we're going to get our brake where we want it. And, uh, which is same, same spot. Man, just, I feel like I just need to go and, you know, just do something and and then fix it later. So, yeah, just get it nice and tight. There you go. Even, even this one. Like, holy Toledo. No, I already messed up. There you go. Let's get that one in there. Yeah, and tighten this puppy up. Just a little bit. Okay, and just match it. Cause that's that's the right that's that's the right that's what you want we don't have two different length arms just make sure okay hell yeah okay nice and firm double check it no see we already messed up so this has gotta this has got to come out this has got to be right there 
got to be all the way out there. And then we got to reset this one. Okay, there you go. I mean, that's my life, just doing like things five different times. I guess, I guess I, you know, I get to do life, life three or four times, you know what I mean? For the, for the, for the perfectionist, you only get to do life once. Like, how boring is that? Like, you want to do life like five or six times. Okay, so now this spins like hell. Um, oh, you know how I could get it to not spin? Is I could put the cable in, pop the cable out, and then, uh, you know what I mean? Put something on the end so you can't you can't spin it. Like it'll just pull tension. But I don't want to break it. No, it's just kind of fun to do that. Okay. But uh, yeah, that looks good to go. We're gravy. And no, these do not. Like I need to lengthen it. Damn it. So I need to lengthen this one. Uh, but these are just fine. Hell yeah. That is going to be just fine. You can go all the way around. Hell yes. Okay, well, let's do it and then be done. But damn it, this cable is brand new. That sucks. You know what I mean? But it's all right. It's all right. You know what I mean? Uh, no use crying over spilled milk. But I, I'm lactose intolerant, so that never happens. You know what I mean? But if some, if it milk spills at someone else's house, I just leave. I'm like, hey, it's time for me to go. There's nothing grosser to me than, than milk. Oh, it smells gross. Especially when it spills all over a table. Ugh. Okay, so got that off, and uh, you got to put this boot on, else you'll just lose that boot. And uh, oh, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't figure out how long I need to make this. So we're gonna, we're gonna go right here, put this back in, put the boot in. See that? That's probably the only useful thing for that boot. Is uh, and we can save this. Yeah, it's going to get all messed up, but that's all right. We'll try to save it. Save the day. Okay, and then we'll just, we're just going to put it in there. But we need another brake cable. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, this is so bizarre. I, I need to put these all together individually, because the second I need one, I just got to take them all out. And uh, it's too much. It's too much for me to do. But I do this, you know, once every... Uh, five years tune up a bike like this i swear it's it's been about five years since the last bike i tuned up um all right so just get that going hey we're, we're getting a system though that's pretty good one two and three and we're done okay so this just goes right in there i mean how hard could it be well actually bikes are really tricky i don't know everything's just you just got to pay attention to everything all right, tighten that puppet up. And now, see, we just want this to come straight down. Is that going to get in the way? Do we want it to be on the outside? So see, 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 see how this cable, this is exactly, it's like looking at the skeleton of a human. You know what I mean? Do you, want, do you want this cable to come nice and you want a nice smooth, you know what I mean, tangent. You know what I mean? You don't want it like down here and making a sharp bend. Uh, but then do this and hell yeah. So that's perfect. So now you need, we need our housing basically from here to there and can i do it with one hand okay where's my where's my housing there it is Ooh, hell yeah i probably have a small little piece right ready to go man who put this away so so nice oh that was me uh anyway you just took a little extra time to get out and there you go perfect so there's going to be our housing check the end the end looks great now for the housing, this is how you cut it. You buy brand new, this is the only thing you should spend like hella bucks on. And then close your eyes because, well, you don't have to close your eyes for that, but uh, this, oh, it, it was perfect cut. But if it's not and it's dangling, you can just, you can snip the side of it just like that. But other than that, this is a perfect cut. And, uh, oh man, wh where's our little tool? I swear I put it in here the other day. There it is, there it is. Yeah, you should always have, you can get these at Harbor Freight, like just a, you get it like a buco for like $5. You get a lot of these things, whatever they are. You know, become a dentist. How's the other end? We already, oh, no, the other end needs some love in too. Open it up. Oh, but see, the other end has a little, you know what I mean? Just something. You know, it's not perfect. So, uh, but we're actually going to probably F it up. But you just want to come in there and close your eyes. And now it's perfect. Perfect little shear. 
And, uh, I mean, that's a ton of friction. Why would you want all that friction right there? Okay, now we need, what do we got in here? Do we, do we have, oh, there you go. There's these grips. So, uh, I could get rid of this and put that grip on there. That would be cool. That would be cool. We might do that. Um, and we're going to go, go to our bike. All right, here we go. This is our, uh, damn it. That is not anything. Okay, here we go. No, no, this isn't anything either. What the hell? Oh, there it is. Yeah, this was something. Okay. Oh, I feel like it's just going to drop everywhere. But this is our, just our little library. We're going to put all those in there. Garbage on the ground. And uh, we're going to use that one. And here you go. We're going to put these puppies on. You know, how hard is it? And, and they're just loose as hell. Oof. This thing's madness. Okay, there you go. I think I just got to get it in there, though. And no grease. No grease. Uh, you know, who cares? That's what I said. No gr new, new cables, no grease. Because then, when you go tune up your bike, hey, all you got to do is maybe, like, squirt a little oil in there. And, you, and your customer is like, whoa, dude, what'd you do? And you're like, magic, bro. And, uh, and you, didn't, you hardly did anything. But that's the idea of being a good bike mechanic. You want to hardly do anything, but do amazing. You know what I mean? Do something amazing. And we didn't need two of those. If I knew what I was doing, you know what I mean? Uh, okay, but now this slides right in. Hell yeah. And I can't forget the boot, because the boot's already on. And there you go. But this thing, this thing's got a slot in there. Oh, that was really good. I don't know why it was so hard the other time. And that's fully juiced. Get our tourney bob. And you're just hardly, you're hardly turning this. Um, because I, I would get it all the way. I would do this, get it all the way, hardly turn it. And the, oh, she, shoot. Now we're all just messed up. There you go. Oh, but, but that, that, that could be a quick tip. Is if you're just like, well, how much should I tighten this? We'll do this. You know, come in here, uh, put this right there, just right on the edge, balance it. I don't know if you can balance it though. You know, maybe, maybe this is a horrible idea. But if you get that balanced, now you can just tighten the hell out of it. Um, and then tighten it down. Because now, check this out. Because now you, you know you can still get the cable off. Um, and it's just the perfect amount of tension. And now you can, you can tighten this up too. And to get a hell of tension. You know, so that's it. You know, how much do you want this to pull out? Well, just enough to get it out. You know what I mean? And that's how much tension you should actually have in here. And, uh, oh man. Life and death turn in these things. Shoot, where, where is that? Yesterday we had one. And we just threw it. It's a Phillips wrench. There's like only one Phillips wrench in here. And it's driving me nuts. And I don't know where I threw it. Holy hell. It should, I had it in here. You know, you should always have a Phillips wrench in your stuff. Damn it, there it is. Okay, we're just juice it just a little bit. And then put it back on. Oh, that was way too much. Damn. Uh, oh, maybe you got to do this one, though, too. Yeah, way too much on that side. All right. All right, phone's ringing. But, okay, so now, now we can just really tighten the hell out of this. And be done. Okay, now we're just going to cut the cable. Okay, perfect. Get our, uh, get our these. Get our little, uh, nipples. Hell yeah. I mean, if you want people to be in your industry, you know, just start naming things with sexual names, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Hey, I'm putting on the nipple. There you go. Um. Perfect. It is a pretty good idea, you know what I mean? C could you imagine if like a, a, a washing, like a, like a dishwasher, you know what I mean? 
was just called boobies. You know what I mean? Hey, I'm putting the dishes in the boobies. You you do it like every day. You're like, hey, I want to put those dishes, you know, right in those uh, boobies. So, uh, so yeah, sometimes life's just about making games. You know what I mean? So you, you don't quit. You know what I mean? Uh, you gotta, yeah, life's hard. Life's hard as hell. But you gotta find ways to, you know what I mean, get through. And it's all right to procrastinate. I've procrastinated on this project for years. You know what I mean? And then it just takes like 30 minutes to do. Um, what are we going to do? We're going to take that off there. And, uh, we're going to get that cool, cool, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't even know. But it's these. I had these. Hell yeah. Fucking sweet. And let, let's see, the logo's got to read, you know, anytime you have a logo, you want to be able to read it. So I'm going to be over here. I can read it. Um, that's what my friend taught me back in high school. You know, he puts... You just bought like $200 worth of back stuff, you know, that you're putting on your back. You want to be able to read the logo. Okay. Hell yeah. And this tightens down probably like an animal. Sweet deal. And I just got to be careful not to over tighten. These would be perfect to tighten with this end because you really can't tighten it too much. But you can you can damage the, the Allen key, that's for sure. Hey, I'm going to go a little bit more. Screw it. I love over tightening stuff. Not really, but let's let's see if I can learn something. You know what I mean? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it bottomed out? Okay, that feels bottomed out, and I don't want to go anymore. And uh, we can get that break a little bit closer to the end. Okay, there you go. And uh, is it about in line with the other one? Sure. Sometimes you just got to go for it. Oh, but that's interesting. So if I don't need all this grip out, no, I do. You need something to hang on to that's not turning. Um, but hell yeah, that's looking sweet. And are we basically done? Um, no, we, we have not even tightened up the headset worth a damn. This whole thing is just ready to explode. Um, but yeah, yeah, is, is it lined up? Good enough, I don't know. Like, I'm satisfied. It feels just fine. Yes, we already did. We tightened the hell out of that. We tightened the hell out of that. Um, but we're just double checking. And, and yeah, this is good to go. No, this is not. See? Damn. And it's pretty much centered, though. Oh, yeah, I got to get the top. That was the one that... And this, just just go until they kind of bottom out. Or not bottom out, like way before that. Because you're just hitting them all. And if they all start to bottom out, then hell yeah. Then you're pretty much done. You know what I mean? It, it probably has five newtons. You, once it bottoms out, then you're just stripping crap. You know what I mean? You're adding tension, but you're adding tension to molecules of steel. That Those don't move. You know what I mean? But the threads do. The threads, you see how that just bottomed out? Hell yeah. So you're basically done. I mean... You know what I mean? And it's probably already five newton meters. And this thing, it's captured. Like, the worst that can happen is your handlebars, like, go forward or down. And if that happens, well, yeah. But I'm, it's so tempting to go farther than that. Uh, but all you're doing is bottoming out and then setting tension. Okay, hell yeah. Uh, okay, shoot. These uh, brakes are, like, way too high. But uh, I kind of like them. No, I don't. I need to get them lower. And uh, that means like, damn it. Uh, oh, now, now we're just, we're misplacing stuff. And I, I don't know where it is. Okay, Blue's Clues time. We're looking for the three mil Allen key that we said we were going to strip, but we didn't. And it was, uh, we were over here. And then we probably just threw it this way. There it is, there it is. Okay, so we need to loosen this puppa up. There you go, so that's loosened just enough. So you can put pressure on it, there, loosen just enough. Okay, now hop back on. Now get it where you want it. So a lot lower, a lot lower, yeah. I just wanna be like, you know, just chilling. You want a straight arm, 
And uh, even, but low's fine. You know, too high, you're gonna be way up there. So yeah, I'm just gonna be right there. And typically, you know, if you're if you're visually looking, you should see the bottom of your lever, but not too much more. You know what I mean? It shouldn't be like way high. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. Oh, I feel like that's already buggered up. Okay, that's tight. We'll get a little tighter. Hell yeah. Okay, we're, we're in. We're in, baby. And I think safety check, you know what I mean? Check the headset. And yeah, it, it swivels because it was already perfect. It was already perfect to begin with. And uh, so now we're just ready to go. How does this bike feel? You know what I mean? Are the, are the pedals, what's the low point? Hey, that's pretty good. And yeah, I'm just, oh, this handlebars are just sweet. So I, I highly recommend it. This this bike is now just sweet. Um, I don't like that the handlebars go down. Like I wish they came up like a, a cruiser. And so yeah, for 30 more bucks, if I ever want to do this again, I could. But man, I, I'm good. Like I kind of like this. It's a uh, nice and wide. Good. Yeah, I like it. I love it. Oh shit, that that, that just moves. Man, maybe I need to like. Yeah, you could just drill a hole through your handlebars right on the end. That'd be the way to go. That would actually be way cool. Just drill a small little pilot hole through your handlebars and then put a screw. That crap ain't moving, you know what I mean? Okay, looks good though. Perfect, that ain't moving. And uh, hell yeah, let's, let's take off these pedals. I, I, I think I broke my pedal wrench or something. I, I don't know. I don't know if I lost it. My brother borrowed it. Um, but yeah, my idea with the pedal wrench is like, I mean, do as loose as possible with your pedals until they start falling off. And then you're just like, whoops. You know what I mean? I should have gone uh, stronger. Because, man, you just don't want it to be a nightmare getting these things off. Okay, so we're just going uh, lefty. On this right one, it's normal. So we're just uh, left. See, there was hardly any tension. So maybe they're just going to fall off. Maybe this is a horrible idea. And this one's this one's righty loosey. Okay, and now to get them off, you pedal forward. All right, and then let's get this let's get this on. Oh, perfect. Grab the right one. Okay, we're just going to use all the grease on the lid. You know what I mean? And good enough, right? Probably not. It looks hella awful. Just a lot of sawdust. Okay, now you're going to paddle back. Pedal back to put them on. And don't get your finger pinched. There you go. I mean, I don't know. I mean, you could just reef for days on those, but why? Okay, now, so pedal forward to get that thing off. Just have it fall on the ground because it's just about garbage. Let's see. Oh, there you go. Whoa. All right. And, oh, this is so cool. Okay, so we basically got all the grease off the lid. I think we're good there. Uh, we'll just dab it. A little dab will do. And, uh, I know it's kind of dumb to get this. I should have really got the, that's all right. I mean, who cares? Should have got the sawdust off. Okay, this is the opposite. So now we're gonna go uh, lefty, lefty tidy. Just catch it for a thread. And we're gonna pedal backwards to get it on. 
whoa see you just you just walk around with tools and just leave them wherever okay oh that did not work that did not work um I guess I didn't catch the, oh damn, don't mess this up, don't mess this up. Maybe this one's just all buggered up. I don't, cause else I don't know why, you know what I mean? I don't know why I haven't just had these and used them. Because yeah, that, that just feels freaking terrible. Yeah, so I think that's why, I think these are just stripped as all hell. Let's take a look. Hey, guess what? So let's say this is stripped. Um, I don't mind doing this project. See, sometimes when you do like, you're like, a, well, you know, like never in my life would I want to fix this. But you, like typically when it comes to threads that are stripped, they're just stripped at the ends. You know what I mean? So then you just need to come in with a Dremel. And not even a Dremel. I mean, could I do this just right on here? Holy hell, look at all this crap. Right, damn it. I think I got a chunk of you know something in my eye. But there you go. You know what I mean? You just you just go around at a 45 and uh let's get it greased up again. And we're gonna see if that goes on better. You know what I mean? And it's just a pedal, it's got plenty of threads, you know what I mean? You don't need all of them. You don't need all of them. And uh so this is a uh, lefty tidy, so we're gonna go this way. And uh oh, it still just feels like hell. Man, it just feels awful. Uh, but yeah, that's that's why these pedals, I have never used them maybe. I don't know. I think they're all just messed up. But there you go. See, if you can go kind of back and forth, you know. Don't... But I think we got a lot of, I think we got rid of a lot of the bad threads. Like it actually goes on. But if it can't go, if it can't go as easy as that, I'm just backing this out and calling it good on that. But hell yeah. You don't need a tap. Just get rid of all the buggered threads. And then you don't need that many threads to hold on a pedal. Like, what the hell? You know what I mean? There's a huge chunk of metal holding that thing on. Um, but yeah, hell yeah. I'm so glad I was able to salvage these. Because they're sweet pedals. Probably really expensive, too. I don't know. At least they're like... You know, and that, that maybe hardly spins, but... Okay, sweet. We salvaged some pedals. Um... My hands are greasy, so we'll just take these off because I think we're done. Uh, the tires still hold air. The back brakes, let's give them a check. Uh, we're going to... Man. Okay. So, uh, if this one... That one's not tight enough, so we're just going to tighten it. But now it's too tight. So, yeah, it's real finicky on this side. But 
but that's okay. I kind of like it right there. Okay, the rubber is not hitting the brakes, and uh, shifting still works good. And we don't don't have a derailleur, so that's pretty sweet. And uh, this is all the cockpit's all nice. Hell yeah, we did it! And guess what? That's a video.